Star Citizen has had a huge influx of new players recently, meaning that's a bunch of players stumbling into the exact same mistakes that we've made over and over and over again after thousands of hours of playing. So here are a couple of things that if it's your first time playing Star Citizen, you should look out for. No! No! The first mistake happens before you even enter the game, when you first buy a game package. During different times of the year, different game packages are available, where you can buy the game and a ship of your choice. As you look through the plethora of ships that CRG have, you might get overwhelmed, but find a ship that you fancy. But don't get ahead of yourself, some of those ships are very expensive and very easy to get in-game. Lots of Star Citizen players and creators have their opinion on what the best starter pack value is. But in my opinion, the best thing to do when you first get into Star Citizen is to buy the very cheapest game packs, the Aurora or the Mustang. The reason for this is even if you do want to end up upgrading one of those ships later on, you can always go into a chassis upgrade through the CIG website. This means you can test out the game, see if you enjoy it before you make a much heavier investment. And as always, I don't recommend you make much more of an investment anyway. Unless you're really, really dedicated to the game and you really want to support CIG, there's not much reason to buy anything else other than the starter. If you did want to go a little higher, I would recommend the Avenger Titan, but as your first ship, don't buy anything else. Sup, buddy? Boom! One of the first things you might do in game is get into a ship, take it for a ride, and go and explore a moon or a planet. But not all moons and planets are hospitable. Every time you die, you're going to reset without an undersuit and without a helmet equipped, which is going to mean if you leave your ship in space or you jump onto a planet or moon that isn't hospitable to life, you're going to start suffocating. It is really, really good practice. Anytime you're about to leave a station, just go into third person mode. Make sure you've got a helmet, make sure you've got an undersuit equipped, and you will be fine. Shot me. <laughs> what? Speaking of deaths, one thing a lot of new players don't realize you can do is change your spawn location. Any location which has a hospital, which is planets, orbital stations, or refinery stations, give you the chance to reset your regeneration point. It's a really good idea to set up base in one of these locations, as it's much easier to go to an orbital station than it is to constantly be leaving planet, especially if you end up starting in Orison. Your home location will still be set to wherever you first started the game, but think of locations where you might want to change your regeneration spot as a home away from home, when you go to do bounty hunting missions or mercenary missions. Anything where you're very likely to die. A good quick tip is anytime you do travel down to a moon and you want to explore, make sure you turn off your engines, otherwise you're going to have your ship flying off in a bunch of different directions. This happens on some moons more often than others, but it's good practice to do it any time you land. This also prevents anyone from boarding your ship from leaving immediately, giving you that little bit of extra time to try to take your ship back. Oh god. <laughs> Did I just duck in real life? I may have. One of my favorite things to do in the game is by far mining. There's so many different variations of mining, but anytime I'm in a prospector or a mole, I'm having the time of my life. Because of this, it means I also have to know a lot about refining. And while there are a lot of pros and cons to the different refining processes and the locations that you refine, one of the biggest misconceptions I hear from other players is that you can't use your vehicle while it's refining. This is just not true. The second you start your refining order, you can go back in your ship and start another mining one. Nothing is stopping you. And for reference, this is an intended mechanic. The ore is being moved from your ship to the refining station to be refined. This is also why mining is one of the best money for time in the game currently. No! The most... Um, Damn it! The most one very important thing to remember when playing Star Citizen is some people are just out to get you. This is an MMO. PvP is a big thing. You will have sessions where you'll experience no PvP at all. But you need to be prepared for it. Make sure you're checking general chat. One thing that happens a lot during PvP is people will goad each other into fighting. This gives you the chance to avoid those areas or if you need to, serve a hop. But keep in mind, PvP is a thing that's going to be in the game forever. It's here to stay. Maybe learning some basic escape tactics or even some basic fighting mechanics might be what gets you the kill on the PvP. Just as an aside, there is a lot of PvP that happens in Star Citizen that people will consider griefing. Griefing is a thing that does happen in the game and it usually involves things like pad ramming. But if someone is just outside of a station attacking players, this isn't griefing, this is an intended mechanic. You need to be aware of this. Which took a while, but... Oh, Jesus. Before I give you the last tip, make sure to check me out at twitch.tv slash I stream most days, and I'm usually pretty much only streaming Star Citizen. I'm usually open crew as well, so you can join in and have some fun with us. The last and most important thing in Star Citizen 
Don't be afraid to ask for help. Star Citizen is one of the best gaming communities out there with so many people willing to help out new players. If you're encountering a bug that you're not sure how to fix, ask for help. Chances are there's a fix out there that a veteran player knows. If you have a mission that's a bit too hard for you, ask for help. Maybe someone's got a larger ship that you can multi-crew with and hey, now you've got a whole new brand of friends. CRG themselves have a thing called the guide system, which I'm gonna link to below, where you can actually request help from a veteran player. And if you do so within the next few days, there's actually skin rewards for a couple of ships, which is pretty cool. And that's it. Do you have any other new player tips? Make sure to chuck them in the comments below and hopefully I'll see you guys a bunch more as I release a bunch more videos on this channel about Star Citizen. If you found the video helpful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more Star Citizen content. Have a good one guys, we'll see you in the verse. Oh no, we're red. I'm risking it. I'm risking it. No way! Yes! <laughs> Run! Nice. Alright, alright, let's do this. Get out. Bro!